After a disappointing Super Tuesday finish, Senator Elizabeth Warren ended her run for the White House. I will not be running for president in 2020, but I guarantee I will stay in the fight for the hardworking folks across this country. And now the question is, who will she endorse for the Democratic nomination? Something Senator Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg, and Mike Bloomberg did quickly after they dropped out of the race, all going for Joe Biden. But Warren, whose policies align most closely with fellow progressive Bernie Sanders, is holding her fire. Uh, not today. Not, not today. I need Senator. some space around this and I and want to take a little time to think a little more. David Pluff, President Obama's former campaign manager and author of A Citizen's Guide to Beating Donald Trump, says Warren may have a reason for waiting to endorse a candidate and that her decision is not a swipe at Sanders. You know, she might not have been ready to endorse. She might wanted to see how the primary plays out. I think she also understands her supporters aren't monolithically Sanders or Biden. So, you know, let her voters decide without her putting a heavy hand on it. In 2016, Warren supported Hillary Clinton instead of Bernie Sanders. Hillary Clinton, our next president of the United States! Clough also says Warren could be considered for another role. I got to think she'll be on Sanders and Biden's list. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe they'll surprise us and they'll pick a man. They could. But I'd also assume you're going to optimize for uh, candidates for the number two slot who are women. Democratic candidates will compete at the ballot box again on Tuesday, March 10th, when six states will hold nominating contests.